Hi guys, Karen and CJ here for a follower requested video. Today we are going to be going over how to get your dog comfortable with their teeth being brushed. So for the purposes of this video, you will need your furry friend who mine just decided to leave. So I'm going to get him back real quick. Just hang on one second. All right, now that I have my furry friend back, we can get started. So you're also going to want some yummy treats. We'll get to the toothbrush and toothpaste and all that in a minute. But first we have to start by making sure our dog is comfortable with us touching and handling their muzzle. And how you do that to start is you want to make sure the treats come after what you do. So that way the treats don't become a predictor of what you're about to do, but they become a reward for your dog allowing you to do what you need to do. A port, an important disclaimer, excuse me, is that at any time your dog is able to opt out of this exercise. We don't ever want to force our dog to do anything they don't want to do. So to start, you can just move your hand towards your dog's muzzle. Yes, and pay them for not moving away. You don't even have to start touching their muzzle, just moving your hand towards it. Once they are comfortable with your hand coming at their muzzle, then you can start to touch it. We're not opening it or anything like that yet. We're just getting them used to us touching their muzzle. So to start, yes. Yes. Just real quick touches. Yes. Yes. And then as they get better at that, you can start to leave your hand there longer and longer. Yes. Don't forget to try these same steps underneath and on the sides. Yes. 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 I like to wait until he's done chewing that last one I was a little sloppy on, but I like to wait for them to finish chewing before I try for the next repetition. Yes. And again, same thing from the sides. Once he's done chewing, you can touch the side. Yes. Now that he's comfortable with one hand coming towards his muzzle, then we can start with both hands. And again, over time, increasing the distance you leave, or the time, excuse me, that you keep your hands there. Yes. Now important here, especially on a hot day like today where he's panting a lot, I don't wanna be closing his mouth or forcing it into position. If he wants to close his muzzle or not, that's okay. So he gets to control what he is doing with his muzzle at any point during this. If he wants to keep his mouth open, he can do that. If he wants to close it, that's all right too. Once your dog is comfortable with your hands moving around his muzzle, that's when we can start to do some of the opening and closing of their muzzle. But again, we don't want to be prying their mouth open or anything like that. They should be helping in the process. Can you sit up? I just want them to be able to see you better. So now I can come and I'll, my, oh, if he does that, that's okay. We take a little break. We're not gonna push it. If he pulls away, we don't push it. Next time I will maybe move a lip. Yes and pay. I might just try using one hand and moving part of his muzzle.
so it's super fast and brief when you start. You're not looking to hold their mouth open. Yes. Unless your dog is ready for that stage. And the only way to get your dog ready for that stage is to go slow. CJ is pretty used to me handling his mouth, so that's why I can come over here and I can do this. But notice how he started to lick his lip there? It could be because I just gave him a treat, but it's most likely he's a little uncomfortable with that. So that means the next time I'm just gonna do a real brief. Yes, good job. And work him up to those longer and longer times. Don't rush these steps. These are important to helping your dog be comfortable when we start to introduce the toothbrush and toothpaste, which we will do in the next video. So I want you to start working on this stage and stay on this stage until your dog is comfortable. Then you can go over to the next video that shows how to introduce the toothbrush and actually brushing your dog's teeth. So if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment below. Or if you have a video that you would like to see be made, please, I love your recommendations and I'm always happy to create content for you guys. And as always, don't forget to tell your dog I said hi.